See how that's done this summer? This is our Wajir office. Here in northern Kenya. And all the staff members are very busy working day and night, long hours trying to reach out to remote areas to deliver food, especially this month of Ramadan when the majority of people around here are fasting. And right now, there is a team who is loading a truck with Ramadan food packs. This is one of our store. They are storing some food packs here as well. Give you a better view of our storage. There's one here. And there's quite a unique looking one here as well. But they have local sites as well in various regions for storage. These packs are being loaded onto this truck. Now we'll find out where the truck is going. Elvis, yes. how are you? Fine, thank you. Do you have information on where this this load is going to? Yes, the food pack is being taken to Elders. Food At packs are going to Elders uh, Health Centre, then they will be distributed to the community. Elders? Yes, Elders. Elders. How far is that? Elders is uh, two hour drive from this place. And I have uh, Rob Lee, who is the regional manager price. here. Probably, how, how is the progress, this emergency relief well, we're doing, uh, phase? We're doing well. Alhamdulillah. Our donors have given us enough. We're still appealing for some more. Okay. The food that we have received is not enough for all the needy people in every village we go. Okay. But we have set up a community. Uh -huh. Community members, a committee. Uh -huh. It selects the most vulnerable in that village. And these are the people who receive. 18 kgs of food for the Ramadan. And do you distribute food packs every day or is it once a week? Uh, currently we have been doing it for two weeks. And they will be out of our stock. We are waiting for some more. Thank you. Thank you. All this has been made possible with your donations. Our donors in UK, America and many other fundraising offices throughout Europe. This is your money in action, which is going to save lives. Because you will see from my other video blogs in the last two, three days which have been two, day, two three days which I've been travelling around. And the scenes I have witnessed, the people I've spoken to are in desperate need. The droughts have hit hard the northern part of Kenya, where I met people who have lost their livestock, camel, goats, what they used to depend on, are all dead. People are leaving their villages in hope of a better place and hope of a location where they can find water, 